morning guys February 20th 2024 the snow is really picking up it's a beautiful thing definitely a beautiful thing we got 34 people on the live feed right now checking it out snow in there but yeah it started really picking up so you guys know what I do I gotta go do this for y'all Hope you're all doing well I know I've just posted a video but this is what I do any significant change in the storm we go chase it so right now we are going to the Baldwin Lake side of town we're gonna to follow the wife to the top of highway 18 and make sure she gets down This is so absolutely beautiful. And don't forget to support the channel, to help us out. Hit that like, hit that like and subscribe button and go to bigbearweatherandmore.com. Check out, we have a whole bunch of new merchandise. Um, I think you guys will be stoked. And it will be super helpful. Temperature's 34 degrees, so we're we're playing with with rainy fire right now. Any any little change in this beautiful snow falling could turn into miserable cold rain, and we do not want that. Yeah, this is so lovely. Oh, I love it. And don't forget, guys. For your ski and snowboard rental needs, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. If you mention I sent you, they'll take care of you. And if you bring in your own skis and your own snowboard, they will wax it for free. But you have to mention you're a friend of the channel. That's the only caveat. You gotta mention, if, if you walk in there and say, hey, I heard I can get my, my skis waxed for free, they're not gonna do it unless you say, you're a friend of Big Bear Weather and More, then they'll do it. Oh, this is epic. This is epic. I think my wife is doing the smart thing, guys. So she's going to the to the Whittier area right now, but she's not going down the front. She's gonna take the hour plus detour, driving down the backside of the mountain where it's gonna be a lot safer, less snow. And it's, it's a beautiful little drive. It really is a beautiful little drive through the desert. I just, I just hope she doesn't drive too fast. But she'll be fine. If I thought it was gonna be overly dangerous, there's no way I would let her go but she's going down this route. And I heard in Running Springs right now, part of our mountain range, for those of you who don't know, it's not that much lower in elevation, but it is maybe 800 feet lower. It's, uh, it's raining there right now. But yeah. As I said, we are we are headed out towards the Baldwin Lake area. We're driving through Big Bear City. We're gonna start driving through Big Bear City right now. And I'm excited to see how it looks over in the Baldwin area. Shouldn't be bad at all over there. As a matter of fact, even though it, you can see the sky looks socked in, once we get over there, there might even be a, a couple patches of, uh, of blue sky. It's, it's always the weirdest thing over there. It's not far at all, but the dry desert air really eats at these storms and Baldwin sits on that desert side of our mountain range.
guys, I'm trying to find some some other spots where I'm gonna set up some more live feeds. So, so during these snowstorms, we can have multiple perspectives. Of course, me driving around gives you a different perspective as well. But instead of just one like this, we can have others in different parts of town. I, I've got a good friend in the Boulder Bay area who said that I can, I can set up a live feed anytime. He would love to contribute to the channel like that, so we might take him up on that offer. It's just adding a little more work for me, but it'll be that much more beautiful for you guys. And it'd be cool if, if we could get a live feed set up out here in Baldwin, just to get all the perspectives. I live in the center of town. Boulder Bay is in the snowier part of town. And Baldwin Lake is the least snowiest part of town. So it'd be great to have three live feeds going at once. I would love that. North Shore Highway 38 and this Highway 38 in about 200 yards is going to turn into Highway 18. So here we come to the junction. We are now on Highway 18 right now. As you can see the snow is getting less and less but as we come back again see the snowfall rates jump. Temperature out here is 35 degrees currently. Babe, you need to slow down. You don't need to drive that fast. Sorry, guys. Now it's 36 degrees. It's probably going to change to rain here any moment. We're getting like a sleet mix over here. Sleety, sleety. safely look at look at the temperature just jump 37 degrees gosh it's, it's just amazing how these little microclimates around here work it really is it's still snow but it's just awesome how how different just a, f a few feet makes up here Still getting the snowflakes coming down. They are such wet, heavy snowflakes though.
Okay, look at Baldwin Lake. Look at how big this lake is now. Such a, such a pretty lake right now. Isn't that great, guys? How this area that is usually dry turns into a lake for a little bit of the year every winter, or at least most winters. pull into that parking lot at the top of Highway 18 so I can give you a kiss goodbye. Alright. Temperature went back down to 37. Again, we're still getting the wintry precipitation, but it's a very wet, heavy snowflake. It's like exploding when it hits the windshield. proud of her for not driving fast. She's a great driver, but I always worry. Again, if I thought it was too dangerous, I would never let her go. But she doesn't get much time to go visit our grandkids. And she has uh, the rest of today off and part of tomorrow morning. So she's gonna drive all the way down to Whittier. There's just no snow over here. Nothing. I mean, literally, absolutely nothing. Remember, guys, we're on Highway 18. We're going to be turning around once we get right to the part of the road where you start driving down into the desert. This is the safest way in and out of Big Bear, but for most of you, it's completely out of the way to get here but she's doing the out of the way drive to stay safe. And I'm happy she's doing it. As you guys saw with the start of the video, it was snowing really good over there. side of her. Alright, hang on. Huh? All the way down? No, that's where I texted you to stop. 
get in the car. You <laughs> stay in the car. Luna is almost made me crash with these pork chops in the car. Hey guys. She wants Hi those guys. pork chops. Hi guys. Luna girls. <laughs> Luna girls. Theo. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Hi, right, babe. Thank you. Yep. Call that me. Meant a lot to me. Call me when you get down to the bottom, okay? Okay. And just drive as slow as you need to go. Bye guys. And when tr and when you have traffic on your butt, pull over at the very next turnout. Okay? Be safe. Be considerate. I love you. Considerate? No, nah, just be safe. <laughs> All right, guys. There she goes. She should wait for these cars. Good. These cars are flying. Don't, don't be like those guys. You guys, unless you guys have a death wish. safely she'll be down there before we get even halfway back home that's the fastest way up and down the mountain as I've told you guys um, when there's no traffic or nothing like that it'll take you nine or ten minutes literally from right here to get to the very bottom but this road starts in the high desert so you're already starting at the bottom of the mountain a little bit above 3,000 feet in the high desert so that's why it takes you no time to get up here. And we're gonna drive through Baldwin Lake right now. Oh wow, that's a pretty view with those clouds just lingering over there. Oh wow. I don't know if, if you guys can see it. Well, we're gonna be right there anyway. chops with I think eggs I've just I've never been a pork chop fan you guys I don't know about you guys it's, it's just way too dry for me I'm just not a fan but maybe because I haven't had a really good pork chop and anytime I go to a nice steakhouse or something like that if they offer pork chops I always order the steak so maybe I'm missing out. Who knows? Oh, here we go. Here's that view again. My goodness gracious. Thirty-seven degrees. Again, guys, it is gonna drop in temperature as we uh, get to the other side of town where we reside. guys there's nothing there's no snow over here well there's some patches in those little shady areas of that house but there's nothing over here 
tiny little tiny patches every now and again. Again, I just love our little microclimates up here. What a difference seven and a half miles as the crow flies makes. What an incredible difference. Okay, now I wanna say it is just drizzle now. Not snow flurries, not snow, but drizzle. So it's, it's gonna be great, because on this drive, we're gonna be driving back into snow. <laughs> it's so cool. There's Baldwin Lake. said we might get some areas up here that are trying to be clear or to, or, or to clear up a little bit and that little spot is trying and again the further we go this direction the more precipitation we're gonna come into the snowfall is significantly less over here but to live in a house like that on this beautiful prairie I might sacrifice that see some donkeys. Seven degrees still. Once we get up here to the stop sign and continue going, the temperature should be falling.
stop sign. So when we get to the stop sign, we'll be crossing over Highway 38 and staying straight right here, we'll be on Big Bear Boulevard. Right now we're on Shea Road, which turns into Big Bear Boulevard on the other side of this stop sign. Here's Highway 38. That's how you get in and out of Big Bear, one of the ways. We just came from dropping off Rachel at one of the other routes up and down the mountain. snowflakes coming down again so that is good definitely all of the wintry precipitation now. And I think we're going to take the take the back way into Moon Ridge.
again, what we're getting right now is now it's 36. What we're getting right now is a is not a wintry mix. It's all of the wintry type of precipitation, and it's the snow is getting thicker. The snowflakes are getting fatter. you can pay to go sledding that's called Big Bear Snow Play. I think it's 45 bucks for the day so if you get there as soon as they open I, I don't know if it's 9 or 10 10 a.m. something like that pay your 45 bucks per person I know kids get a little bit of a better price I, I think it's down to like 30 or 35 bucks something like that but you'll get to sled all day long not going to lose a lot of energy because they have automatic motorized or yeah motorized walkways that take you up to the top so you don't have to hike up to the top it's worth it it's definitely worth it summit which usually you can see it right there so that's a good sign it just shows me how heavy it is over there that's where we need the snow to be falling at a good good rate because we want you guys to have a beautiful time skiing and snowboarding this would not be the best conditions to be skiing against it. even though it's all wintry precipitation it's just really wet temperature jumps back up to 37 no way Okay. Well, anyway, guys, it's a tour of the other side of town. As you saw when we started, the snow definitely was picking up good over here. It's amazing how quick things can, can change. It's still, still snowing pretty good right here, but you, now it's back to 36. <laughs> As you guys saw, Baldwin, it was changing to almost a little bit of a light rain over there with hardly any precipitation coming down. There was no snow out there. Just a remarkable sight for not being far away, and it's the same elevation. But anyway, thank you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Thanks for enjoying this with me and experiencing this wonderful YouTube experience. Experiencing this experience. <laughs> Appreciate it. And don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. Share the videos. Hop onto the live feed. We'll be doing a live feed throughout the rest of this storm. So uh, yeah, I'd love to see you guys there and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your February 20th, 2024. And we will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Peace out. We're on Moon Ridge Road now and the snow is coming down looking beautiful.